Okay, so I thought I'd do a little Foley demo that you guys could use as an example if you want to try doing this yourself. So what I'm going to do with this um, is do the entire thing just with my iPhone and walk you through the whole process. Um, so what I did first is I picked uh, a video clip that I found on YouTube. Now, as it happens, I actually did the Foley for this clip years ago. The film is called Your Highness, uh, which was very funny. And uh, I'm just going to go through the process that I actually used back then when I made the sound for this one effect. Um, but this time I'm not using our professional mics and everything. I'm just going to use the microphone on my iPhone and I'm going to watch the clip uh, on my iPad and just do all the elements uh, as I watch that and uh, then kind of put them together after and let you have a listen and a look at what it sounds like together. So you can try this yourself. Nothing needed except for an iPhone and a screen, like a laptop or an iPad, so you can watch the scene. All right, good luck. Well, seeing that I did the bulk of the work in the labyrinth, perhaps it's one of your turns to lead the way now. Step back, new friends. I'll lead the way, for tonight evil's met its match. Fantastic. Thank you again for coming. Wow, right out of the gate. Oh, we should proceed with a bit more caution. So the sound I'm going to do is for the two impales of this guy that steps on the block. Um, it's a little booby trap, so a big swinging arm comes around. We're not going to deal with all of that, just the impacts. So there's a big kind of spike that goes into him, and then the arm swings around again, and he gets pushed into a couple more spikes. So they're very similar sounds. The first one is a little more singular, and the second one is uh, a little more final. Uh, he's definitely dead after that, and uh, there's a lot more blood explosion, as you can see. So first I want to have a metal element uh, for the spike. Um, it's kind of thicker than a sword. It looks like it would be kind of almost something between like a pipe and a spear uh, and an axe blade. Very solid, very heavy. So I'm going to grab a couple of things and I'll be right back. Okay, so I got my iPad set up with the scene on it here. Uh, I'm doing this in the Foley room, <coughs> excuse me, just because it's quiet, uh, so it's a good location. But if you're just doing this for fun, it doesn't really matter. You can do it anywhere as long as there, as long as there isn't like a huge amount of noise. Um, so the first element I want to do is something for that metal spike that goes into him, and then the other spikes that impale him at the end as well. So I got this huge metal bar here which is awesome, has a lot of weight. Um, and then just a sword that I can use to slide along there. It's gonna be much faster than that, of course. Um, so I'm gonna try and do the two kind of shingy elements, uh, the metallic part, as uh, he gets impaled. All right, good. So I think those two will be nice metallic shingy elements. Um, they sound like nothing until you have all the blood and gore and everything in there, but it's a good start. I think I might do just a heavy impact too. Barbecue chicken, I love it. It's great for just real kind of fleshy, teary, impacty stuff. Um, so I got a barbecue chicken here and I'm gonna use that just as a nice solid meaty impact sound uh, when the spike goes through the guy's body. And then again, when the multiple spikes at the end go through him. Okay, I'm way down here on the floor just cause I wanna use the floor as a surface, but um, okay, the chicken just adds a real fleshy, natural element. I'll just let you hear this. It's not over the top, but it just gives it a real kind of presence. Um, so we're going to try and do kind of an impact and then some kind of gushy, sinewy kind of element um, to kind of fill it out a bit. We'll see how it goes.
great gross i love it um there's got to be some kind of a crunchy element as that spike is going through bones and stuff so um i have celery here celery is good it's cheap it's easy and it sounds amazing uh, and disgusting for horror films and for like gory scenes like this in comedies or whatever when you need something to be over the top celery is a great go-to okay i got some celery here so i'm going to try and do a couple of impacts um uh, same thing one at the beginning one at the end because there's some goring going on on both of those i'll try and just do this all in one pass we'll see how it goes I love both of those. This is still okay, so I'm gonna make some soup with this. There's a really kind of splashy, gooey, viscous kind of element there, and I find that oranges are really good for that. You can really get in there and make like a big squirting, splitchy, kind of squelchy sound. Um, so often with any bloody sort of thing, I'll use oranges. I feel like it really works well. Oranges, oranges are disgusting sounding. This is gonna be a great gooey element for this. Yep, gross as hell. On the second impact, when he comes around into the, into the final spikes, there's really a huge splash of blood that happens. So I'm just gonna get like a towel and soak it and do a couple of tracks of just wet, splashy liquid, uh, which with all the other elements in there will definitely be uh, convincing for a blood sound. Okay, so for the liquid blood kind of stuff, often I will also use a chamois, which is a, a sheepskin, because uh, it gives it a nice slippery kind of element and that's great for detail stuff. But in this case, it's just comedy gore. Um, so what I decided to go with is just this pair of soaking wet jeans. Has a nice uh, heavy element that um, lend itself well to this kind of body impact. And then, of course, all the wetness too. Watch out for the zippers and the buttons. All right. I feel like it still needs some splashiness though. And I have all this water all over the floor. So I'm gonna just add that in. This cabbage, which just has a nice kind of solid weight to it. It's heavy. And you can actually get some good kind of body impact weight. So I'm gonna try one of those for this now. Pretty sweet. <clears throat> Ow, though. So it's kind of hard to edit this all together, but essentially this is what all those elements sound like uh, when they're played at the same time. So I encourage you to try this kind of thing. Have some fun. It doesn't have to be horror. It doesn't have to be gore. Um, but just, you know, find a scene somewhere, put it on your laptop, and then try to record yourself creating those sounds. And then later on, you can line them up together. I just use a cheap app called Splice. Uh, it's free to download. And uh, I think it's just a lot of fun and a good practice for you to get into if you are interested in becoming a Foley artist in the future, just to have a little bit of knowledge about what works and what doesn't work, even if the mic quality is not that great and it's not something that would be, you know, broadcast quality at the end, you still get a sense of the process and how much fun it is to do this job. So I hope you enjoy it. Thanks a lot. And please, if you're enjoying, subscribe as always. Thanks.